Okay, welcome back to the Firewood Hut. Dale here. Uh, today's video, we're going to discuss the art of splitting firewood with a vertical log splitter. Um, doesn't matter what species it is, whether it's the 17 VS from Wolf Ridge or the Axis uh, from Easton Maid, and uh, there's a few others out there uh, that have their own uh, vertical renditions of a log splitter. So, the first, there's two ways of doing this. One's like, one is, uh, I call it the sawmill way, where you take a slab off, and on the sawmill, you just keep on going down and cut your boards down. Uh, take a slab here, might take a slab here, and a slab here, off till you get the uh, square uh, part of the partwood. So uh, we're going to do that one. And then the other way is uh, just random. Uh, I usually start with the pith, cut the log in half, the round in half, and I'll just start... Uh, you know, pecking away at it, taking one slice off at a time. So we'll start with the sawmill way. Uh, this is the most efficient way of running a vertical splitter because um, you you uh, double up on your double or triple your your splits up, and uh, we'll demonstrate that right now. By the way, the sawmill way uh, only wor really only works if you got a nice straight grain. Because you can imagine if it was uh, like an elm or something, or a hickory or a cherry, that you know the grain just goes all over the place, or you got knots and stuff like that. Um, it just won't split up very good. So you're pretty much the second way. Just you know, start splitting at it and cutting corners off and what have you. But the next thing is. Look at the nice uh, sawmill way. Look how nice that is. Um, you know, when you're building a, a campfire, you know, we'll do it Mike Morgan style. You know, two pieces. At the bottom, you put this fire starter in there. And then, I didn't get the blade down all the way on that one. There we go. I'll change these two out. Okay. And 
We got one more out of that round. Okay. And that is pretty stable. Now we'll take this other one. Two on the bottom. Throw a little fire starter in there. <laughs> and these these both rounds were pretty much equal in diameter, so. Um, So I got one more uh, piece of firewood out of that by doing it that way. But uh, you know, notice that with doing it pieces parts, you know, randomly, it's a lot more wiggly. It's pretty good that way. But this way, it, that's pretty solid. So and I did I did a, a practice round on that. This and it was the same way. This was solid doing the sawmill way, and this was <laughs> quite a bit more wobbly, but you're still getting the, the basic um, design, the, the effect. Uh, it's not going to affect the fire at all. I think you both have uh, about the same uh, flame and uh, time and uh, uh, how long the fire lasts in both both rounds so just wanted to bring this to your attention uh the art of uh splitting firewood on a vertical vertical splitter so um there's no right or wrong way um you know just different methods of doing it so uh other than that uh we'll talk to you later bye